Welcome back YouTube for the final installment tutorial five. I highly suggest if you are new to this game, even if you have a lot of experience with Civ, I highly suggest that you actually work your way through the tutorials. I have learned a lot about the game. There's a lot of similarities, but there are po points at which the game diverges quite sharply from Civ. So those are the kind of things you catch in this tutorial before you just dive into the game. So in our last tutorial, uh, we had to complete eight ambitions to win it, and we had to discover Rome, and now we need to crush Rome. So hello, Alexander of Greece. You are the second leader of Greece after your father, Philip, was brutally assassinated. In this tutorial, you start with the knowledge that Rome paid the Thracians, I think that's how it's pronounced, to assassinate your father. You have located the Romans to the west of Greece. The Greek army is stationed in southern Greece and will take some time to arrive. You need to increase your military infrastructure and defense before attacking Rome. Alexander, are you ready to lead the glorious army of Greece and defeat Rome? Yes, I am. I will be like Alexander the Great. Alimus. Alimus, the Greek word for war. Alimus. I will take a look. It's approaching. You must prepare for war with Rome and destroy them. The Greek hoplite is unique units specific to Greece. I figured we needed those. Every nation has access to two unique units. The first is available to build in cities that have a stronghold, and the second is available to build in cities that have a citadel. To build a stronghold, so this is really good too. They kind of put these highlighted words, so when you run your mouse over it, it gives you more um, information and background to how to how to do that. Second is ready to build in cities that have a citadel. To build a stronghold, your nation must have four active laws. The city must be a developing culture and have a garrison. To build a citadel, your nation must have six active laws and the city must be at strong culture and have a stronghold. Okay, so that's really good to know because I was getting a bit confused in the last tutorials because I'm like, well, why can't I assign governors to specific cities? I couldn't because the cities had to have some of these in place. So that kind of answers that question for me. Open the law screen and enact your fourth law. A law group contains a choice between two laws. You can see if a law group is available to enact with the flashing attention icon. Click on either of tyranny or constitution from the sovereignty group or either of colonies or serfdom from the navigation group to enact your fourth law. Then use your worker to construct a stronghold once completed in a hoplite city. Wow, that was that was a lot of words. That was a lot of words. Okay. Note, in this tutorial, all ports of old war will be enabled except for ambitions. Complete 10 ambition legacies to win an ambition victory. So this is about a victory condition. So we are focusing on this. Outside of the story of the tutorial, good luck. Okay, so this is the this is what we need to do. I need to enact a fourth law, build a stronghold, and train. Okay. Being else that the able has started a new ambition, enact a fourth law, build a stronghold, train a hoplite. Okay. So as you can see, similar to Civ, I was uh, talking to my chat, uh, who might be new to this, is these are your resources up here. So that's your gold, that's your food. Um, you can buy and sell from from right up here. So that's important to note. If you want to buy or sell resources, you can do it right from here. There's a drop down menu. So this is our food. This is iron. This is stone, wood, and um, orders. As we've seen in the other tutorials, the orders are very, very important. They affect your ability of movement on your builders, or as they say in this game, your workers, as well as your military. Okay, so uh, good good advice. You can hold shift to view highlighted words within the tooltips. That's awesome too. And um, someone was showing me a trick that there's apparently a way to do something I've been wanting to do. I just have to reread it. Uh, click shift comma. All the various map toggles are indicated on the right side of the mini map. Okay. Shift comma. So let's let's look at this.
Oh, yay! Finally, I like to play, when I play any kind of strategy game, I like to see, I like to see these icons. That is amazing. Great. So now I like to always have these present constantly. It's just, I don't know why, you know, we obviously have it visible up here, but I need to know. Um, it helps me kind of think about the best way in future placements. If I have it visible in front of me, I have a better idea of what to do and what not to do. Okay. So we know, okay. So, uh, okay. So the setup's a little bit different in the tutorial. So we have these three cities. We know Rome's over here. We need to enact a law. Okay. So we need to figure that out. We need to figure out where that is. We have any, it says we we have an army. We have no army. Oh, I guess we're building the hoplites, right? So we need to act. Aww. Well, that's nice. I like that. That was really pretty. How are we doing on wood? We're doing pretty good. On everything actually. Well, it's kind of good to look at how this how they have the city set up for future reference. figure out how to act the law. I am the law. She's a governor. See, this is what I was talking about. You can't have a governor until you've got one of these things. Wait, you can gift this? To, oh, I wonder what multiplayer looks like in this game. That would be interesting to see. All right, let's look at our ambitions. Not sure how to act and act a law. Let's research. Is there a city screen? I like sometimes I like to just click all the buttons. It makes me happy. Oh, that's good music. Okay. Here we go. A succession. Thank you. Someone from chat helped. I mean, the game's only highlighting it. I'm clueless. Okay, so that's good to know. So the laws are over here. So we click on here. And this shows our laws. So I haven't messed with the laws, so I had no idea. All right, so we got options. Unlocks, decrease, and capital. Low training, no. We want high training. We're going to have tyranny. I think tyranny is our best option. Nope. Tyranny! Okay, so that used our civics. Okay. All cities get more gold here per military unit territory. Okay. All right. So go back up to our ambitions and act a fourth law. Now we need to build a stronghold. Ooh, chariot. That would be nice. Huh. I wonder if it's something the builder has to build. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, so the builder is in the center of the city. This is going to be very important to know how to do this in the future. Okay, so we need to build a stronghold, right? Here, here we have an option. So it's, some, it's something you build in the city, it looks like. Or no, next to the city? Because that doesn't look like it's on the city, right? Yeah, this is the city right here. Oh, I guess we're just going to put, put it right there. All right. Four years to completion. I wonder... I think right here would be good. It's a fort. So it doesn't look like it's something that you can... Okay. You know, we could start a road. Like, right here. Let's... Let's... That looks, that looks like a, oh, we have a road. Never mind. Kind of have a road, so that works. I love clicking all the buttons, all the stuff and the things. Okay. So we're working on this. We need an act of fourth law. We need to build a stronghold, and then we're going to train a hoplite. And then the tutorial will probably tell us what we need to do next. So we'll just end that part of the YouTube video here because it's going to take some time. So I'm just going to add this. That part of one of these ambitions is you're given a scout. You need to go scout Rome's areas and you need to make sure you stay hidden within trees or you're going to fill the, fill the ambition, which is going to cause you to fill the tutorial. So we're going to go do a little bit of that. Um, okay, so that's one of our new ambitions. Okay, so your builder builds your barracks. That was something else we had to do. So we have to build two more barracks for a total of five to increase training. We need to explore. And we're still working on this, the stronghold and training the thing. That's, that's, that's going. Okay, so we need our builders to be doing that. So our builder is working on that, the stronghold. Um... He's almost done with this, and then I think we'll build a barracks along the road. Yeah. So I don't know if the units get produced from there. Okay, so now we need to deal with the scout. Okay, next unit. Here's our scout. So our scout is way the heck over here, so we need to get all the way over here. I hope that I hope that's okay. We need to make sure that if we get closer, we need to end on here and make sure that we can hide and that we're not out of units. Oh, please. Oh no, we totally screwed that up. That's bad. Ah, oh, I should have saved. Your scout has been spotted by Rome. They have been made aware of your plans. Things go downhill for Greece after your scout was spotted. Gave, gave away your plans. With all of his surprise, Rome was ready for Greece's attack and repelled it easily. It did not take long for Rome to overwhelm Greece's army and defeat them. The people of Pelham now speak Latin. 
Okay, so don't do that. Don't do that. Just, just, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, starting over again. So don't do that. Learn from my mistake over at YouTube. So this is important. This is something I've been wanting to understand better uh, in Old World. So Old World is not just about leading a nation to victory. Old World is also about characters and developing stories. The event system is the main way that characters' stories develop. Each turn, you will be presented with some events that are occurring. These events can involve your leader, your characters, families or cities, or even other nations, tribes, or religions. There are well over 3,000 events in the game, and the event system is designed to present different emerging stories each game. You may be called upon to make a decision between two arguing families, or you may need to decide what to do when your heir elopes with a commoner. You may even get to take on a pet or bet on a horse race. Some events are linked and pr and previous decisions may present different options later in the game. Your spy master may be asked to assassinate a foreign leader, which may lead to different events later in the game, depending on how the mission goes. From next turn, the event system will be active. Some events will automatically open for a decision at the start of your turn. Some events may be decided on later in the turn. You may see how many events you have waiting on a decision by the event explanation icon just above the next turn button. Happy storytelling. Okay, I will make my own stories through the event system. Okay, so this this is the something I've been trying to understand the family stuff a little bit more. It's it's a huge dynamic of this game that really sets it apart. Uh, if anyone ever asks me, like, how is this different than? Civ. That is the main thing. Hmm. We're gonna get on trees. Hi. Did we get all the barracks? Oh. Almost the barracks here. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that next turn. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, now we just really important you have to make sure you stay in the trees or um you're exposed and you lose the scenario which is not good uh, mm. it's a risk we're gonna auto save just in case you do a quick save We could do a forced march. Are we hidden? We see a little hidden thing. Okay. So this is letting us know we're hidden. Okay. There's a lot happening in the game of Old World. It is easy to overlook the opportunity to make a decision somewhere. You could miss that you can tutor a child as leader, or that one of your cities may now appoint a governor. A reminder system has been included to help indicate to you where you may make decisions. And the bottom notification icons, the reminder notification icon indicates that reminders are active. I think that's this. Click on the reminder notification icon and choose which item you would like to make a decision on. That item will then be active and allow you to make your decision. Keep an eye on this notification icon because new reminders will appear each turn and some reminders may expire. Okay. Oligarch Demetrius Appella meets with you to discuss court matters as he has recently taken up the mantle of family head of the In the wake of someone's death, he converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, 
God rest her soul, was non-committal about your relationship based upon all the correspondence I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. How shall you respond to this? I like this one. I could be a loyal patron if we could reach an understanding. Ooh. It meets with you to discuss spiritual matters as she is recently taking up the mantle leader of the Greek paganism. In the wake of death, she converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden after attending a sacrifice until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, may he rest in peace, was less than pleased based upon all the close for it. Uh, I came here to find, okay, all right. How should we respond to this? Yes. As our treasuries filled with the finest luxuries, family has come to demand a cut of the wealth. They desire more of our collected dyes, or they will make our job of governing difficult. Okay. If it keeps them hot, happy, Let's, let's not cause problems we don't need to. Four or five. Start with military units. Military units. Two years with those guys. I just think we'll keep, like, we have the forest right here. We're just going to keep... Once we make these units, we will put them right here in the forest. Maybe that only works for scouts. I didn't think about that. Your scout comes to the edge of the forest near the Roman border. Rows of orderly tents stand with colorful pennants flying from their peaks and snapping in the breeze. Your scout can make out the insignia of Roman melee units, archer units, and in the very center of the military camp, the unmistakable emblem of the legendary Roman... Ooh, Leviticus. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. A formal army, but one that you are sure you can defeat. I will continue preparing. Aren't we Alexander the Great? You have completed the ambition. Explore around the Roman lands and find their army. Okay, so we, we managed to figure that out. Um, hmm. Just very cautious. How much can we march just in case? Once you have a spy, a scout can create an agent network in a foreign city. The scout will be automatically returned after five turns. Oh, that's cool. So that's something. Okay. Once you have a spy master, a scout can create an agent network in a foreign city. The scout will be automatically returned after five turns. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we're just going to sleep. And uh, we need to create a spy master. I think that's up here. Yes, they can force march. Um, really? You know what? I wonder. I, I want to know if this is passable or not. I need another. S I'll leave him there for now, and then I'm probably going to send him over here. I need him to, like, see more over here, because this is... Leaf slingers in our city. Can we train in hoplite? Yes. Let's get this done. Let well, maybe make them unhappy, but we're gonna be rushing these. We need to get an army up and and standing. How many barracks do we need? We need four or five. I think, yeah, we're finishing one over there. It's going to be done in four years. Let me crush this. Age 
damage 20. You can formal marriage to Rome. How does she feel about us? Let's get her married. She's 20, she's not married? What is this nonsense? What's, the, what's, what's this brother doing? Let's influence him. Bloodthirsty. Wow, nice. Eligible and ambassadors. Just, okay, the spy master's locked. Okay, so this is right. Oh, it costs us. That's why we can't. Okay. We need some trees, so we're gonna cut some trees. <laughs> Alexander Strong, I like it. Two more, okay. This is definitely the music. Someone asked from chat, this is the music from Old World. A new marriage proposal has arrived for your daughter. Hero, heal in neutral territory of his countries. Well, he's cuter, so. We've played two more barracks. This will occur. I'm just like, I want my daughter to be happy, not miserable. That guy just, he just looks like he's constipated. You look over all around, line the streets, and cheer as the first Greek coplite marches out the city gates. Each nation has two unique units. Okay. Okay, so we just completed an ambition by making a hoplite. The Greek army has arrived from the south. You have been given a large amount of training to prepare the army. Promote your units and assign generals to some. When you are ready, move at least seven units of your army to the highlighted staging area on the map. What's this guy? This is the guy I want. What is this? Age is younger. Ew, Oracle, that looks cool. We shouldn't, we shouldn't mess with anything right now. We really need to focus. Oh, our military is ready. Holy moly guacamole. Okay, all right, let's do this. Dang. Uh, you know what? I just. Alright, um. We're gonna add a general. Okay. 
Okay. And then... The Calvary. And we'll put somebody with the archers. All right, and then let's see what we got left. Let's promote. That's that's it. All right, so we'll just promote everything else. Range versus range. All right, we're gonna get everything promoted. Uh, we want all of our melee in the front and our range in the back, so. Can you mass select your army? Like, is there a way to highlight and move everything at once? Oh, cause that would make things easier. Okay, I think they're all out of movement because we promoted, cause you can't promote and move them at the same time, I don't think. We can force march them. Alright, we'll just wait till next turn. This guy's kind of useless. Just, uh. Okay. Oh, I guess we're just gonna keep, uh. Keep going until we run out of stuff. How about you just sleep for now? We, we don't really need to be worrying about what we're doing here. We got a we got an army to move. Okay. Ah, they have a daughter. Oh, she's adorable. Okay, remove the attack cooldown and give plus one. Okay, launch offensive. Yes, I like I like my cavalry on the side. Uh, I want these guys in the front. I need my siege engines in the back. How far can you get, buddy? I'll take what I could get. Not the 
slowly move these guys. These guys, just, just stay at that here. Thank you. Just sleep for now. Thank you. No, we're out of stuff. Okay, great. Force march? We can't. Yeah, we used everything. Okie dokie. Okay, we need to just skip. Um, what does a apprentice officer do? Let's just... Something there. Yeah, moving an army is... They really... The game's really making you pay for that, that army movement. Oh, I really, I really want my archers up on a hill. I said you could use space bar to skip. Oh, I forgot I had these guys. Oopsie daisy. Hi. Okay. Okay, it is now time to avenge your fathers, declare war in Rome, and invade their lands with your army. Your objective is to capture a Roman city. You have some... A major? Okay. See, uh, which are siege units. Siege units are fantastic at battering down a city's defenses. To use one, move it within attacking range of the city. You can hover the cursor over a unit to see its attacking range outlined in red. Some siege and end units like the arms that require them to be unlimbered before firing, which can be done by clicking unlimber on the unit's action menu. I was wondering what that was. It takes one turn for a ranged unit to unlimber, after which a point will be ready to attack. A few archer units are included in your army. Archers are good at damaging enemy units from afar or battering down a city's defenses. Most ranged units may move and fire in the same turn. Mounted units, including the horsemen, horsemen units in your army have an ability called route after killing adjacent enemy units with route will advance into the now empty tile and can make another attack oh that's awesome 
Okay. Yep, we just talked about it. It's possible to create route chains where a unit will route a number of enemy units in a row. Mounted units are great at cleaning up a battlefield. After your ranged units have damaged an advancing enemy army, use your Anagers, onagers, I believe, archers to battle down the city's defenses. When the city's defenses are nearly gone, bring in your hoplites to finish off the city. Keep your horsemen units close by to pounce on approaching enemies. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's great. I just need to get all of my units that are so far over here. I'm wondering, can we buy? Let's. Yeah, we're buying as much as we can because we got to get these units here. It's taking like a million years. Um, I don't know which city is which. Might be easier to take this city out. Let's move our scout. I think this city is going to be the easiest to take out, honestly. I am not moving in, um, moving on anything until my all my units are in place. Or at least following up behind me, so that way I can advance with these and have these guys in the back for cleanup crew. Your comfort. Um, Rome, right here. have these follow up behind. Uh, 
I want more orders. Bye, bye. Give me, give me. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to murder you, Rome. But it is mine. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more flexibility of movement here. Okay, so that would be good. We used everything. Hmm. Nice. Okay. This is this is good. This is good. I like this. this. Some leaders have special abilities that may uh, you may use during war. These abilities depend on the archetype of your Alexander Great Hero. His special wartime ability to launch an offensive to execute this mission. The hero leader must be the general of a unit. The alien mothership is in orbit here. We can hit that bullseye. The rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. <sighs> Add plus one orders per. Okay. The launch offensive mission will reduce the cooldown effect on any adjacent. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. This effectively means that for the cost of training, a hero leader general can allow a group of units to have a second attack in the same turn. That's awesome. Which can be very powerful. Okay, that's good to use. Oh, where's my other general? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. We have nothing right now, so it's, I mean, oh, that's, where do I have him? Oh. Oh, this is a special ability. Okay, so I gotta wait until he's not Tigged. Got it. Alexander the Glorious is likely to fly into a rage if she does not get her own way. Most spoiled person. Oh, the princess, her daughter. Witty and spoiled. Wow. I'm a spoiled child. I'm right in the middle of the war and I've got time for your nonsense, little girl. Um. Okay, so his special ability. Oh. special ability. Hmm. Looks like you should be able to click on this and something should be happening. It's like... Dun, 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 dun. That's what it sounds, it feels like with these guys just moving so slow. So come on, come on, let's do this. Let's get, let's get on here. Okay, all right. 
We, we've got a war to fight here. I do not have time for this nonsense. These guys here are gonna be like, uh, I want more attack options. I'm kind of over this. Come on. This is is this a study right here? Okay. Okay, so we gotta do what do we gotta do? We gotta unlumber. So they're gonna take a turn to do that, and then next turn we can hit this. Got it. Wow, that's actually pretty fortified. So you can't get around it. It's gonna take a while to get around it. Okay. I'm just like, get through it. Let's do this. It's taking too long. You know, guys, you can just sit here. You can chill. I don't have time. I'm pointing things to get me more of this. This is all I need all of this. I need all of this to make more orders. I need all of this for more movement to force march. Our religion is strong. Our people are strong. I am just sleeping you for now, buddy. I need I need all of all of this right now. Okay, so. Um They could be a decent amount away. That's good to know. This, this guy's in my way. You okay, need to like take this dude out. This uh, little worker needs to go. And then. Silence after a battle hangs heavy in the air. Exhausted men sit slumped near to the bodies of the fallen, cutting through the quiet. Enemy general killed. The victory cry rings out across the battlefield. A group of soldiers carried the, the body of the enemy general up to... Oh, up to us. Oh, good. Their offer, claiming to have cut down the general as he fled. Oh, okay. Ooh, a new courtier. Okay, we, uh, we need this right now. Nice. Horse march. I don't know how close it needs to be, so I'm gonna unlumber. happened to all these dudes like where's this army like for real they're just they're just chilling there they're like eh, we don't care we don't really like our guy we don't like our nice our soldiers encounter roman roman jails full of foreign captives once free many of these prisoners offer to replenish our forces yeah arm them and send them in the battle Hell yeah. Fight for your freedom. For your freedom. That's right. <laughs> this is gonna be a bloody battle. There ain't nothing left of the civilization.
delicious. We almost got it. Uh, let's just take this guy out. Alright, um... A little nervous because we... Oh, we take city. Okay, so we managed to do... We're, we, we've managed to hit all of our ambitions. That's good. Dude, it's taking like by the time you get there, you slow pokes, the war is gonna be already over. Seriously. Alright. We're just gonna keep advancing with whoever we can. But yeah, we're done. Just chill. What are we, what are we concerned about right now? Sure. Okay. to the court. Servants in tow before towing to a sudden stop. So all we gotta do is just basically defeat room so we'll continue the video there because otherwise we have to edit this down. So we've destroyed the city's defenses and now occupy a Roman city. When a city is breached, it enters a state of anarchy. It is during this period that ownership of the city will change over to you. You must keep one of your units in the city at all times while capturing. During this time, the number of turns remaining before captures are displayed on the city bar. Once you have gained control of the city in anarchy, You'll be able to choose which of your families to give the city to. At this point, the city is now yours. Nice. You have completed Take a Roman City. It's time to avenge your father. Direct the mighty army to finish Rome off by capturing the remaining cities. I will conquer Rome by con capturing all of their cities. Okay. Ambitious. Conquer Rome. All right. So we've got... We're close to taking this city. Uh, we took that one, I think. Okay. We've got a lot to deal with getting out so we'll we'll get back to this uh youtube video it's gonna have some weird editing but we'll be back to it once once we get close to getting that last city all right so we managed to pull it off we managed to hold off the romans take the cities i think there's one city left um in this tutorial you learned how to prepare for war capture cities defeat a major nation you now you have now learned the basic skills needed to play old world there are many ways to play Old World. You, you may start the Carthage campaign, playing as Dido and leading Carthage. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, from a new settlement to an empire to rival Rome. Battle for supremacy in the central Mediterranean with famous characters such as Hannibal. Okay, so take on the barbarian horde in a thrilling battle for survival. Build up your nation, your foes, and prepare for the horde. Play against a nations in a single player game. Choose your leader, your settings, and lead your nation to glory. Will you pursue ambitions, score the most points, or simply wipe out, wipe out your enemies by conquest? The choice is yours. Meet your friends or make new friends on the internet and multiplayer games, fast paced online battles, or long strategic, well thought out play by cloud marathon. So that could be a lot of fun to play as, a, to do as a community game. I think it'd be fun to, to, I always like to team up and then conquer all the AI around me. To me, that's, that's more enjoyable than fighting against somebody online. Join the Old World community on Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and other social networks. Stay up to date with con uh, announcements among the game, discuss tactics, or even create a mod. Nice. Really great. So, okay, so this is really cool. Finish now and return to the main menu. I want to completely defeat Rome. I think I'm ready for 
something awesome and new. So, um, you have conquered Rome. In the tutorial, like I said, we learned how to prepare war, we captured cities, we defeated a major nation. This ends the Learn to Play tutorial series. I hope everyone over at YouTube enjoyed this. I definitely think this game is worth checking out. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I, I usually, and when I play Civ, I don't like to play past the medieval era. So it's kind of nice to have a game that's just focused on kind of one area, one part of history. And um, I love scenarios. So I think in my next YouTube video, I'll be taking out the Carthage thing, but I'll probably do a playthrough just to practice first and then maybe take it on. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I'm going to get all these videos up over time. Enjoy it.